of agreeing with my sister. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This dessert shouldn't just be for us. Your reputation should be known around the very bitty world. I second what Apple said, and I third it. Oh, thank you. But just knowing you guys like my desserts... Oh, that makes me happy. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that did come out all right, didn't it? <laughs> all right? It's perfect! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with these guys! Morning, Strawberry! <sighs> Morning, Apple! Whoa, oh! Oh. Mm. What's going on? I'm getting messages from all over the world. People wanting to order Strawberry's famous Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. How did it get to be famous? Oh, uh, I think I can answer that question. May I? Um, sure. Hey, that's my Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Famous Olali Berry Rhubarb Surprise. That's my new food review section on my Berry Best Bits site. I call it Yummy Yums. And the honor of my first food review went to you. Berry Bitty City, home to Strawberries Cafe, premiered a fantastically fabulous dessert. Yours truly was honored to be first to dip a spoon in the ultimate taste treat. <laughs> Olali Berry Rhubarb Surprise. Delectably delicious, delightful flavor, taste-tempting texture, a feast for the eyes and the taste buds. <laughs> you have to try it to believe it. Oh, Apple, you're so sweet. Ah, thanks, Strawberry. And every word of it is true. Like I say on my Berry Best Bits page, I call them like I taste them. And I've tasted them all around the Berry Bitty world. What can I say? Your desserts are incredible. Aw, thanks. I'm just sorry I have to disappoint all your readers. What do you mean? I'm getting messages from people all over the world trying to place orders for my Olali Berry Rhubarb Surprises. And I... Oh, here's another one. I'll have to tell them it's only available here at my cafe. Wait, wait, wait. No, what if it's not only available at your cafe? What? Where else? 24-7, around the globe. All dessert, all the time. That's it! Huh? Olali Berry Rhubarb Surprise! What if people can get it everywhere? Delivered right to their door! 
You mean, like a mail-order business? Exactly! They order your dessert online, you mail it to them. Do you think that many people would really want to order my... How many's that? 112. Just so far this morning. And just for that one dessert. But why just one dessert? Strawberry, all your desserts are great. Think of it. You and Sweet and Sour could make them. I'll taste test them and review them in my Berry Best Bits page. And we ship them all over the world. What do you think? I think it sounds... big. Big? It's colossal! I can see it now. The Berry Bitty Cookery Company. Fresh desserts direct from Strawberry's Kitchen to your door. What do you think? Well, it sounds... wonderful! 172! Are we gonna tell them no? Or are we going to... fill those orders? Strawberry's latest creation, which she calls Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse, gets five yummy yum stars out of five. And a bonus, mmm, that's good, from your humble reviewer. And so until next time when your tummy says, let's eat, this is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call them like I taste them. Oh, Apple, that's just wonderful. And the orders keep coming in. This is so exciting. You're making Strawberry famous. It's her recipes that are doing it. I'm just the messenger sharing the good news with the world. Sweet. Your peach parfait's up. Gotta get back to the kitchen. Okay. What's next on the menu? Grape, grape, grandy. Mmm. 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 Strawberry, you have done it again. Simple words fail to describe the great goodness. The incredibly great goodness of the latest and tastiest wonder from the creative kitchen of Strawberry Shortcake. Choo! Morton Strawberry, a delightful dish called Great Great Brandy. Morning, Apple! Uh, what's the matter? Got a cold? Nah, allergy. I get it every year when the purple puff petals are in bloom. I can't smell a thing. Well, this will make you feel better. Wait till you read my review of your great great grandy. Oh, you liked it? Loved it. Another hit. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. Here's your latest orders. Three dozen O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises, ten Gooseberry Geysers, two with extra nuts, seventeen Strawberries Fabulous Fig Frappes, half a dozen Nana Num Nums, and a Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse. Uh, two Mucho Mocha Mango Mousses. Excellent. Oh, uh, almost forgot. New cake recipe I made last night for you to taste test. Cake? I absolutely, positively love cake. Well, I hope you like this one. I know I will. Oh, pretty frosting. Uh, let me...
me just say that I never had anything like it. It's totally and completely new. Um, different, even. Great! Will you review it on your very best bits page? Uh, sure. Why not? Um, certainly. Thanks! Like you always say, you call it like you taste them. <laughs> yes, I say that. <laughs> That's exactly what I say. Uh, be right back. Sort of a big problem, actually. A really big problem. Maybe you can help me out? Well, certainly. If I can. <laughs> what exactly is the problem? Well, <laughs> you see, the word exactly, <laughs> that's that's uh, part of the problem. Saying things exactly, that's a, uh, ooh, no, uh... It's kind of like a, what do you say when you want to say something but can't find the right words problem. Oh, I understand. So, what kind of things do you want to say? Well, <laughs> see, that's right there, another problem. It's not the kind of thing I want to say, it's what I don't want to say. See? I don't want to say the words I want to say, so I got to find some other words to say instead. I think... I have something that'll help. You do, you do. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Okay, this is a thesaurus. You look up any word and it tells you all the other words that mean something similar. And the ones that mean the opposite. Whoa. And this one, this is my trusty dictionary. Tells you what all the words mean. Whoa, look at all these words. Isn't it incredible? Thousands. Thousands of words. Any words you need, what they mean, how to spell them, how to say them. I mean, it's just... Uh. Enjoy! Oh, Blueberry, thanks! I'll bring them back as soon as I'm done! What can I possibly say about Strawberry's new Very Berry Spice Royale cake? Words simply fail to describe it. Its color is beautifully exquisite, glamorously captivating. Its creamy texture is creamier than any texture I've ever experienced. Soft and silky as a cloud. Yes, dessert lovers, I can tell you definitely, absolutely, and for sure, one taste of Very Berry Spice Royale will prove indubitably and irrefutably that it is an out of the ordinary, unexpected, and may I say, unique cake eating experience. This is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Sounds like she loved it. <laughs> Sounds like she needs to get a bigger thesaurus before she runs out of words. Hi, Strawberry. Better flour some cake pans. The orders are going to be pouring in. Very Berry Spice Royale? Another great review from Apple. Oh, good. I'm glad she liked it. So how's the allergy? Getting better, thanks. The purple puff petals are almost finished blooming. I... Excuse me. <clears throat> Berry Bitty Cookery Company desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speaking. Yes? Uh-huh, yes, this is strawberry shortcake. Well, I... I'd be honored to. Of course. <laughs> Certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Yes, it'll arrive on time. Thank you, Your Majesty. That was the Queen of Berryvania! <gasps> she saw Apple's review of my Very Berry Spice Royale cake. She wants to order one for her inaugural ball. <laughs> Big enough to feed a hundred people! That's Well, we'd better get busy. Uh, 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 oh, no. 
Higher! Higher! Trust me, I'm trying! Hi, Blueberry. Brought your books back. Thanks, Apple. Did they help? Yep, perfectly. Problem solved. Well, looks like the mail order business is booming. And it's thanks to you. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Just calling them like I chased them. <laughs> oh, don't be modest. You know royalty is reading your very best bits page? No, come on. They're delivering a 16-layer cake that the Queen of Berryvania ordered for her inaugural ball. Wow, that's great! <gasps> uh, do you happen to know uh, what, what kind of cake it was? Very Berry Spice Royale, the one you raved about in your review. when the purple puff petals close and my nose can none stuff. <laughs> I bet it's nice to be able to smell and taste your own cooking again. Is it ever. I couldn't even... Berry Bitty Cookery Company, desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speak... Oh, hello, Your Majesty. I beg your pardon. <gasps> Bur berry biscuits! Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty, but... Yes? Uh, yes, of course. I'll take care of everything. Strawberry? What is it? Tell you later. It's the cake. The Queen's cake. I gotta go! Put it back together again? Told you the truth. I should have told you the truth too. Apple, what are you doing here? Tell me the truth about what? Your cake. I just couldn't find a way to say what was wrong with it, so I found a way to say everything that was right about it, and left the bad news part out. What bad news part? The cake didn't taste very good. It didn't. No, don't do that. Why? What's wrong with it? So that's what happened. What? I put in persimmon pepper instead of persimmon powder. They're right next to each other on my spice rack. With my nose stuffed up, I couldn't smell the difference. 
Hi, sweet. Strawberry. No, everything's fine, but we're going to need another cake. I'm on my way back to help you. Uh, thanks. See you in a few. Strawberry, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to protect your reputation. It's okay, Apple. You never have to be afraid to tell me the truth about what you think of my cooking, good or bad. Just call them like you taste them. News reports from last night's exclusive inaugural ball for the Queen of Berryvania say it was the event of the year. Lots of high fashion, ballroom full of famous royalty, gigantic dinner attended by a blonde, blonde, blah. Ah, here. The Queen herself proclaimed the highlight of the evening was the sumptuous dessert from Berry Bitty City, Strawberry Shortcake's Berry Berry Spice Royale Cake. The most delicious I have ever tasted. Another order for Very Berry Spice Royale! Mm. <laughs> Later. Mm, mm, mm. Right now, we're all on a cake break. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, you daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies from berry bitty seed to full-size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. to 375. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful.
Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. to clean as the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh -huh. Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step. Double check the oven's temperature. Triple check the timer. Huh, maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know, but the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. Thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh my, <laughs> you did everything right. <laughs> Best crop of corn I've seen. <laughs> that should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on everybody, back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, berrykins. Hi, Hi strawberry. Nice corn. So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. 
I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh. Thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No, the plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out, when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably... Corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grove Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grove Super Size Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental supersized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official daisy seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> oh, no! Great so. We all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! everyone. The reason I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. <laughs> well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's <laughs> I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh my, we are pretty bitty. And this corn pop's very big. Yeah, it's not oh, a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an 
an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry. How can we move them? We're so bitty and they're so big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's move about! enough away, I believe. kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear, ear of corn ladder! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> from the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> Places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern. 
cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. So why you think? 